This is probably the one. Hi guys, welcome to my van studio and in today's painting we'll be doing some sunflowers in acrylic. Okay, I laid out some paints again that I had left over. I have white, primary yellow, crimson red, dirty nails. Paint though, paint, not yucky. <laughs> A green and some yellow ochre. And then this is a mixture I had of violet, um, a deep violet and green. So it looks black, but this is going to be the dark color I use. And I'm going in with some cerulean blue for the back. And I'm going to probably mix it with this white. I want a nice, rich, bright background. Okay, we're going to try and do this in one go, guys. <laughs> so I may... Um, just fast forward a few um, areas for instance painting this background is going to do it in blue you don't have to watch me paint the whole thing blue so I'm going to paint the edges this is a, um, a canvas board and I'm actually loving these they're really nice to work on I am I ordered a easel today I will have a different setup for when I do a canvas because I'm having too much glare on the canvas with a um, recording from this angle so I'm going to record from kind of um, my left side standing and my board will be like this so you'll be able to see it kind of from this angle so that's going to be my setup I'm going to see how that goes and um, we might just go back to this well I I'm, I'm don't know but let's mix up Oh, uh, white and cerulean blue. Look at that beautiful color, guys. Isn't that pretty? It is so pretty. And another color I also like is, um, another color you can go with is this brilliant blue, which is also very nice with the yellow. But mixed up this little batch and I'm not too particular with mixing it up too perfectly because we can also mix it on the canvas but I sprayed my canvas down a little bit here wetting my brush and that just helps the paint to glide on a little bit so I'm going to fast forward this area so you don't have to watch me painting the whole canvas. Acrylic paint usually dries a little bit darker and it's quite noticeable here. This is the exact same color that I'm using on my second coat, but notice how much darker the dried layer is, the first layer. So something to note when you are choosing your colors is that it does dry a little bit darker. Just going to... and most of this is going to be painted over well maybe not the center but um, I am going to do a little highlight and I want one up here I'm 
going to be kind of an oval because it's going to be facing this way. I've been busy earlier. <laughs> My hands are so dirty. Paint. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure I clean this brush really well because I'm gonna go in with my lighter colors now. I'm gonna go in with a smaller dagger and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the red. And what I'm doing with the dagger, and you can use a filbert as well. So if you do use a filbert, I'd also go in with like a an angle, like on the straight edge first, or the narrow edge, and then go down. You can twist it and bring it back up, and that forms a nice leaf as well. And so I'm using the belly of the of the brush to get the width. So I'm going in with my tip, dragging it, going down with the belly, and then twisting it back up again. And some of the blue is not completely dry, so it's actually bringing out a little purple in this, which is kind of cool, actually. And you can just twist your brush, you know, it's really nice to play around with your brush to see just what it's capable of because just a different twist can give you a completely different uh, design, different stroke. I'm going to go over a couple of these and this just helps to give it some depth. And you're just gonna go with where you, this one's angled. I'm just dropping some of these darker colors. Like I said, most of this is gonna be covered up, but this is gonna give it a nice base. I 
and maybe I'll do some orange just around the perimeter here. And this is what we're gonna do with just all the different layers is go in and just keep layering. And if you'd like to do a simplistic, just a little more simplistic sunflower, um, three layers as far as rows of petals um, is really sufficient to give you a nice full sunflower. And now I'm going to go in with just more of a yellowish orange color. And the other petals aren't dry yet, so it's going to blend a little bit, which is also nice. So every petal looks a little different. And I'm not cleaning my brush off, I'm just adding more paint to it. this one first because I want this one to overlay it's going to be my dominant flower Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio
so that I could not forget. Pink azaleas by your driveway, shade of leisurely goodbyes in your terry cotton sweater with your arms sweeping the sky. Yeah. It was then I. The surf and whitewashed beaches under cypress trees and smoke, mm -hmm. carved like lovers in the driftwood on this moment. I depend, I keep this folded. So that I could not forget, folded at the corner. So that I could not forget, folded at the corner. So that I could not forget. I love the reds actually. I wasn't intending for it to be this uh, pinkish red, but I'm, I'm actually loving it. it I think the blue really complements it as well. going to do 
take a little bit of this purplish color again and a little bit. I just want to do some suggestive, like a circular motion, but a little highlighted in the center. And I also want to clean up some of these edges and just push that back again, make it round. You don't want a solid round line here because they're all kind of intersecting and growing from the center here. Suggest that center because it's not pitch black. When you look at the center of a sunflower, it is so intricate, it's so beautiful. I could never do it Mother Nature justice by doing that. Okay, and now we're gonna go for the green. Oh, you know what? I wanna do a little bud here. So let's take some of this yellow. gonna do that was diesel like a little acorn shape here maybe another one right here Well, I have this thin brush. Let's <laughs> Here I go again, guys. Okay, I like that. Just tip here. I want this to completely dry. We can go in and do the green. So I'm gonna do my straight edge. Ah, 
You wonder how I get paint on my hands? That's how I get paint on my hands. Take my straight edge. I'm gonna go in, I want a darker green, so I'm gonna actually take some of this purple and mix it up in here. And the stalks of the sunflower is quite thick. Get some green in there. Down here. That this one's gonna come up. Okay, that one's gonna go. Let's just do the whole. I think it's gonna be about that thick. This one is gonna be much thicker. Oops, like that. And then this one. I mean my brush is I'm just suggesting right now because I'll fill this in. And you could also, if you're going to do this painting, um, you could also do the stalks first and paint over it, especially if you're not leaving a ridge, you're not doing a textured stalk, then you could definitely do the stalks first and paint over it, paint the flower over the stalk. My brush is too dry. And I'm going to take my angle brush and also go in with some of this green and just pull some suggestive green leaves here. Brighter green. And all my friends are leaving, but I want to stay Can we just stay and these are dry, so now we can actually go in and just do maybe just one more drink. I can't help but think. Let's smell the brush actually. Using the round is much better for this.
I'm going to add a few leaves and we'll be done. I do want to do a few leaves, bigger leaves. We'll fill this in. I think the leaves are a little more heart shaped actually, like yeah, it's fatter at the base. That's it. I knew there was something doing it wrong. So the yeah, it's more heart shaped and it's fat at the base. And then it tapers. Okay, we need to mix up some more green here. We'll do a nice fat one over here. And I'm not being, see, I'm not being very uh, exact with all of this. The yellow one, my brush is suggesting the veins, so I'm gonna leave it. 
there. Maybe some chest room right there. Paint on my finger. getting the same but okay that's not bad and I want to clean up this green over here And then one more thing. Um, let's see the round brush. The stalks usually they have like these little hairs that curl, and I'm just gonna do a few of those. It's not very like. I did want to put a few in. Definitely don't want it to stand out too much, but it it does make it look a little more finished. And there we have it, guys. Mm-hmm. 